would you look at that? The sunrise past Mushroom Island with some of our beautiful cherry blossoms from the Nymphia Garden showing on the ridge there. Oh, you guys, this, this is beautiful. I could definitely get used to rolling out of bed and waking up and having that be the very first thing that I see every day. Ah. <sighs> But hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and I am awful close to the edge. <gasps> Ooh, no, that's the wrong direction. I am awful close to the edge of a extremely tall tree. In fact, the tallest tree we could possibly find in our Asian forest zone. And we are back in Zoo Crafting and getting ready to resume work on building my little tree house to celebrate my trip to Taiwan this summer. And it has been such a doozy. Oh my gosh, it has definitely been a very busy time. But that's okay because it translates into a very busy, uh, very busy, very busy little series of activities here in zoo crafting. And, and well, here's a really nice little tree sapling. I've got some more oak saplings here, but I'm trying to remember how I got up and down this tree. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, are some of the leaves disintegrating? I really hope they don't do that while I'm walking on them because I do not have feather falling boots on and I would be very sad if I plunged to my death from here. And I have a very bad habit of plunging to my death from the top of tall trees. How did I get up here? I'm just like a cat. I got myself in a tree and now I can't remember how, how to get down. Oh no, they are disintegrating. <gasps> no leaves, stay there. I think I have like one little oak leaf that I can I can use as my, my defense if I need to, but oh my gosh. How did I get up here? I honestly don't remember. I just was like, oh, I should go up and look at the beautiful, okay, I think it was this way. I just remember thinking I should go look at that beautiful sunrise again. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, vines! I can cling to the side of this tree like a little monkey and not die. Oh, oh my gosh. But yes, we are back. We are back. We are back. And I am so happy. I could just, oh, I could hug this tree. I could hug like any tree, but still, I could definitely hug this tree. I am so excited to finally, finally be back in Zudasia. Oh, it was, it was just busy. It was busy and it felt weird and awkward and wrong to be away just like it always does. And I'm so excited though to kind of wrap together two of the big events in my life, these two big trips into um, this amazing uh, treehouse we're going to be building because that view is fantastic. I think that's exactly the perfect spot to be able to build a home and be able to see out over the entire Asian rainforest. And just imagine how much more exciting it's going to be once we get different examples exhibit set up and we have little shops and we have all of those bridges that we're going to build in between the treetops so that we can have tons and tons of tree houses with all sorts of things inside. Some of them could be exhibits, some of them could be research centers, some of them could just be little apartments that people could stay at. Ah, oh, let's just have a, have a sip of this banana smoothie to start the day, but man, I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. All right, but in order to like actually start building over here, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little intimidated by just how full- Oh, there's mushrooms down there! Okay, I want to go pick those mushrooms so that I can have some food, but- Oh, and there's some more poisonous mushrooms. Definitely need to clear those guys out too. So let me go ahead and grab these before the dogs happen to wander on them, because they could get hurt from those. Uh, and yeah, there's actually- Look at all of these leaves. There's so much wilderness here and I don't know about you guys, but it's actually a little bit intimidating to see just how wild the land is over in our jungle zone because this isn't supposed to be wilderness. Look, there's a sign here telling me that I should have built an elegant fat tail possum exhibit here. I totally forgot about the entire existence of the elegant fat tail possum. So that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Oh, there's always so much to do in the zoo and I've been so distracted, but it's gonna be it's gonna be much better now It's gonna be much better now because I now have come to accept that the goal of our zoo is not to hold this pristine Wilderness that we can just admire forever and ever and ever even if it is a pristine wilderness with so many Beautiful mushrooms growing up the side of so many beautiful trees. Oh look at all those mushrooms I could have mushroom skewers for days. We definitely need some sort of little mushroom Mushroom cafe. I might have to ask Eros if she wants to see if uh, her mushroom, who runs a mushroom cafe over in her area, might want to open up a uh, another little restaurant over here. Oh, it's another poison mushroom! All right, I've got to get all these guys. And eventually we might be able to turn all of these poison mushrooms into something cool. Because the Wooligompus can... I guess I've been calling them the Galompus. 
<laughs> but the woolly gompus can actually be made into fermented spider's eye, which is useful. You could use fermented spider's eye in a lot of things. In fact, let me go ahead and check out, like, well, how could we use this? Let's see. For bioreactors, who doesn't just grab their fermented spider's eye and turn them into bioreactors after all? Oh my gosh. The scepter of life draining? What even is that? Oh my goodness. All right, that's more what I was thinking, all of these potions that you could end up brewing with it. But apparently there's a lot more that you could do with your fermented spider's eyes than I thought. And a woolly gompus could turn into, eventually with a lot more steps involved, a bioreactor. So you learn something new every day, it seems. All right, but I do think it'd be fun to gather up all of the poison. Mu oh, a death cap. Yeah, like the poison mushrooms like the death cap and maybe build at some point in the future a little research station with a very nifty researcher that we could hire to work in there. And uh, that researcher might find all sorts of interesting things from the poison of the mushrooms. OK, these guys aren't poisonous, so they can stay. But they might find all sorts of very, very interesting and useful things that we could end up um, we could end up turning those mushrooms into. And oh my gosh, a holy mushroom. There are so many mushrooms here. <laughs> like everywhere you turn, like there's a mushroom, there's a mushroom, there's a mushroom, there's a mushroom. Like there, here's a mushroom, here's a mushroom. This place really is a mushroom jungle. It's quite fascinating. Ooh, and there's some cherries, delicious. Let's go pick some of those real quick. Uh, but then I need to get, I need to focus, focus Siri, focus, because we are going to build a tree house and I'll be very happy once we get the tree house built and once we start taming the wilderness. Oh, there's so many delicious cherries here. All right, can I get the very last one? Maybe I could, oh, uh, did I already get it? Oh, I already got it. Wonderful. Well, I can share these cherries with my wonderful darling chips. But uh, speaking of chips, I'm going to be really happy once I get, well, how do I even get back to the camp? There's so much wilderness here. There he is. Darling. All right. Good. So he's right here. Agent Noodles is right here. Ash is right here. That means Lily is nearby too. Hello puppies. All right. Come on guys. You can come with me. Oh, and there's another woolly gompus. In fact, if you see, if you walk on it, you can get a little bit sick. So definitely have to pick those so the dogs go, don't get sick. There's Ash. But yeah, I mean, you guys for so long. I have absolutely loved all of the beautiful forest and all of the beautiful trees. And I'm not saying we're going to raise it all down and build parking lots. I'm just saying that this time away from Zudesia and thinking about all of the things that we actually need to do here in the zoo have really helped me realize that if I want to make progress in our zoo and if I want to be able to see the exhibits for the, um, apparently the elegant fat tail possum or like the constellation bird or build the tree houses for the roof cats, then I need to be willing to dive into my wilderness with a pair of shears and begin to tame it. So, oh, you might see, I walk up and I'm like, but it's a beautiful leaf. I don't want to cut it down. Agent Noodles, what should I do? Agent Noodles would say, just clear the leaves. Oh gosh. All right. Well, and there's our tree house where we need to start building uh, inside of our tree house. And well, like start building it and then making the inside and then building the roof for the roof cats to live on. So at least we've got a good goal. Uh, and I think we'll go ahead and we'll start just like pushing our way in through this bit of the wilderness, even though it's going to be so hard for me <laughs> to clear out all these leaves. They're just so beautiful, but we can always plant more trees and gardens. And who knows, we could even add some of the really beautiful flowers and we could have a greenhouse you guys we could build a special greenhouse and have all sorts of specialty flowers that you may not usually find in this kind of jungle that we could really show off here like all of the special jungle flowers like the parrot's beak ah oh, see that makes me feel happy so we're clearing away the wilderness oh there's see and there's another poison mushroom i need to make sure we get all of those so that my dogs don't get hurt and in trade, we are going to be building up the zoo. And we can always have our beautiful national forest that we're thinking about building. Oh, look at all these mushrooms. Darling, we are definitely gonna be eating mushroom skewers tonight. Where'd he go? Looking for, oh, there he is, there's chips. He is looking for those squirrels for sure. All right, let's go ahead and wiggle over here. And we can clear some of this out. Oh, it's so surreal to actually be clearing this out, but like, almost two years of being over here and Lily Tate, well Tate's not with us, Ash, his son is actually with us. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, and I'm leaving a trail of ferns behind me. This is this is not usual Siri behavior. Usually it's protect all the plants at all cost. But uh, like I said, I'm ready to accept that there are wildernesses in our world that we will be able to definitely take care of and protect. I mean, there's tons and tons and tons of room to be able to have lots of national forest where we can really designate that. Like we were working on our national forest for the red wolves before the birth of a maize baby giraffe calf ended up bringing us back to Zudesia. We can take a whole bunch of the wild animals that we breed here in the zoo and build those national parks and it's gonna be awesome. And I can accept the wilderness being there, Ash and Lily. I almost said Tate. Ash, I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep calling you by your dad's name. I'm just used to having him with me, but it's good to have you with me too, Ash. Here, why don't you go ahead and have some chicken rice and blueberry? All right, there's some for him. Lily, Agent Noodles, would you like some? No? Okay, that's just fine. All right, and oh gosh, my inventory is already so full. Let's go ahead and put on my beautiful steel leaf armor. But, ah, uh, you know what? I'm proud of that. It's just a tiny path. But it, it marks such a big beginning and we're going to work our way over to the treehouse and get the treehouse in and it's going to really actually <laughs> make some things start happening in our zoo. This is so exciting. All right, let's dive back in and let me grab my torches because it is starting to get a little bit dark. But I'm very excited, guys. Uh, it's really funny because the, the longer I was thinking about Zudesia, the more I realized I've been here in this world for so long. And we've accomplished only a little bit here and there. And I just need to become more comfortable with the fact that I'm going to have to cut down some trees. <laughs> and that sounds, that sounds silly, but it's true because we have such a beautiful, beautiful forest as part of our world. And so it's just really surreal to think I need to come in and start kind of pushing things away. But there's definitely a benefit to it because then we'll end up being able to make the zoo of my dreams to really make that start happening and come true. All right, there we go. I'm going to have to figure out how we're going to make a good little path to our treehouse. But I should probably clear the bushes away around the treehouse. All right, let's get these guys, and I'm going to need some wood, and I probably need a more reliable way to get up to the top of the treehouse than, ooh, look at all these Geishel greens. I wonder if we might be able to give those to Aster Seed now that he's nearby, but uh, we probably need a more reliable way to get up to the top of our treehouse <laughs> than just climbing the vines and trusting that the leaves won't just give out under our feet, and uh, you know, there's something that I don't think Chips and I will ever forget about our trip to Taiwan, my friends. The stairs. I'm not joking. I don't think we're ever going to forget having to go up and down six flights of concrete stairs to get up to our apartment. And so uh, I think we're going to build a little spiral staircase to get to the top of our brand new beautiful tree house. And that will make me always remember going up and down, up and down, up and down the stairs with the big bottles of water and all of our food that we get from the little convenience store. So that'll be another way to just kind of leave a precious memory preserved forever in our beautiful, beautiful Zudasia world. All right, let's see. I'm going to put down some more torches. Good job, Lily. Good job, Ash. Are you guys gathering up all of the stray leaves? Please do. It's so hard to cut down all these leaves and it'll be it'll be nice to know my puppies are helping me out with that. All right, so I'm going to need a lot of wood for that. And let me clear this out. Oh, there's so many, so many bits of grass. Time to go over and dump some of this stuff into our little inventory, our little diamond chest that I brought with us. All right, let's see. Let's dig out Geishel Green. A little bit of dirt. Fill up the holes that I've accidentally made. Oh my goodness. It's it's going to take a minute to get my little flow going again, but don't worry guys, we'll get there. All right, so how are we going to get back down? Hmm. Hmm. This place is such an amazing wilderness. Every time I try to figure out how to get up and down from our campsite, it definitely, uh, it's like I'm meeting a whole new wall of leaves. I'm beginning to understand why people would visit jungles with machetes because that's kind of what I'm needing to do. In fact, I almost need to make another set of shears pretty soon. Darling, where are you? All right, let's see where Chips is gone. Oh, hey, it's our campsite. And it's that awesome little pile of leaves I didn't want to cut down. Well, I suppose it was their time. All right, let's get this one. Let's be careful. Oh, this is so pretty. Good job, Lily. I think that this would be a really nice little tree archway that we could work our way under. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna need a lot more wood if we're going to start working on our tree house. Oh, hey, all right. Oh, actually it is night, isn't it? All right, let's go ahead and climb into bed. There we go. 
And then once we wake up, we can check inside the chest. Hello, Ash. Good boy. Good boy find the chest. All right. And sure enough, I did bring quite a bit of wood. I wasn't sure what kind of wood we might want to use for building a treehouse, so I brought some jungle wood, some palm wood, and some oak wood. But I think we're actually going to go with oak wood, and we'll go with oak wood plank stairs that will spiral up around the... Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do some stairs that will spiral up around the tree until we can get to the top. And I just cannot wait to get that built because the view alone is totally worth it. And it's going to be so much fun to watch as all of the paths and exhibits start to spiral out inside of our jungle zone. And if you guys have ideas for animals we could add into our jungle zone or shops and things like that, then do let me know. That's going to be super important. And let's see, let's go ahead and dump all of these guys in here. I can leave the iron ingots. I can't wait to make our little orberry garden that's gonna go under our tree house because I, not, I can't believe I never thought about that before. I'm always, always losing my shears or having my shears break like right away with the abundance of amazing plants in our world to collect. So why not have an orberry garden and why not have multiple of them spread as little supply systems all throughout Zudesia because it'll make it so much easier to grab the little ore berries, turn them into ore nuggets, and then turn them into the uh, iron ingot, or like the iron nuggets, turn them into the iron ingots, and then turn them into shears. So that's going to make life so much easier. I can't believe I didn't think about that before. Oh, and I also found a baby deer, so we're going to have to figure out what to do with it. I actually found that baby deer while preparing a very special area that you guys will be seeing very soon. I'll show you guys and introduce you to uh, the carpenter's new shop that is nearby and how he is going to be helping us with our projects too. All right, but for now, oh, sorry, Lily. I know, I know, I forgot to actually get the oak wood. All right, let's get that out. And then I could have sworn I had, I could have sworn that I had a carpenter table nearby, but apparently not. So let's go ahead and make one really quickly. All right, there we go. Nope, what? There we go, crafting station. Thank you very much. And then we'll come right over here and stairs like so. We'll make as many as we can and we'll start spiraling our way up. So the sooner we can get up there and make a platform to be able to survey all of our jungle zone, the easier I think it's going to be to imagine this place filling up with all the shops and exhibits and gardens. And another thing I really want to add in that we've actually experienced just a little bit, just a tiny pinch of in Taiwan, and uh, we probably would have done more, but it's so crowded, are the night markets. If you guys have ever heard about the night markets in Taiwan, let me know because they're so full of people and bustle and shops and food. and they are special markets that only show up at night and everybody brings their stuff as vendors to sell. They're really crowded, but they're really fun. And I thought, how cool would it be to build an alleyway somewhere around here, surrounded by trees and full of little stalls selling all sorts of special trinkets or items. And oh, I just think that having a night market here inside of this jungle would be really, really awesome. So that's another thing I want to build here too. Also, Ash, watch out. Oh, I'm out of shears. I need to make those shears. See, I told you guys we'd probably want those iron ore berries planted pretty soon. But let's make another set of shears really quickly and get those poison mushrooms that Ash is... Oh, hello, darling. That Ash is a little bit too close to. There we go. All right, come on. There. Eventually, I will have a little botanist somewhere nearby. I need to build, like, a little research station if I want to even hope to attract some sort of botanist to come and study all of these mushrooms. I wonder what kind of interesting recipes or what kind of interesting things or items a uh, mushroom botanist. I wonder if there's a special name for a mushroom botanist. That would be really cool to find out. But I wonder what they would be able to discover. All right, let's throw these in here. And then let's see what's the clearest path to get up to my tree house. I don't think it's going up that cliff side. So let's go this way. And then what if I go up this cliff side? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> It really, really, really does feel like having to have a machete out and traveling through the wild, thick jungles. Okay, so we're at the cherry tree. And if we take a right at the cherry tree through this section, there we go, and clear away all of these leaves. Oh, it's so hard to like actually cut down leaves and trees, but this is in the name of progress. And I know we're gonna think it's just so amazing and I'm gonna feel so good if we can look back over this area in like several months and look around and be like, ah oh, yes, there's the night market. 
there's all of the tree houses. Look at all the roof cats hiding up in the trees. That's gonna be really fun if we can have a ton of roof cats hiding in the trees. All right, watch out, Lily. You guys need to be very careful when I'm swinging around this ax. Okay, this is a small tree. So I probably only want to prune it. I don't want to cut him down. Uh, I might want to cut down this. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to go ahead and cut down this particular mushroom. It's very sad, but it's in the name of progress and there's some mycelium blocks nearby. So it's not like we can't replant these. It would be really nice just to have sort of like a Zen garden made out of mushrooms. That would be kind of fun. Have a little bit of sand that we could smooth down as a Zen garden. Actually, in the old, old world, how many of you guys remember the Zen gardens that we used to have in the old, old world? Those were pretty amazing. I totally forgot we even had those. They were outside of the reptile house. There we go. All right, or I guess that was the old world, not the old, old world. All right, and then I'm gonna have to manually punch down and prune off a couple of these blocks. There we go. Clear away this branch. Clear away. There we go. Oh, look, it's my tree. Yay, all right. I think that this path, it's not quite as direct, but it's very nice, full of ferns, and it'll be a great way to come over to my little tree house. All right, there we go. All right, puppies, are you doing okay? Getting a little hungry? Okay, hang on one second. Let me go ahead and, ooh, look at all the seeds. Onion seeds, carrot seeds. I can't wait to have a little garden. Oh, that'll be so fun if we have like just a little decorative garden nearby. That's gonna have to wait till we have the stairs going up though, at the very least. All right, come here, Lily. Ash, where are you going? You don't smell any more of those poisonous mushrooms, do you? No, it looks like these guys are okay. All right, almost there. There we go, good progress. All right, and I've got the oak wood stairs that can spiral up around this tree, and I will be able to forever remember the six stories of stairs that we have climbed in order to get up and down our apartment here in Taiwan. And I think that actually putting leaves on the outside like this that could possibly be a barricade would be really nice. Maybe I'll even put, hmm, I wonder if I'll even put like some carpenter yeah, some carpenter blocks. That could be another barricade, but that would be nice because then it won't just look like you have the stairs going up around the tree. They'll be surrounded by leaves, so it'll be a nice sort of leafy look, which I definitely, definitely approve of. Um, darn, and we're gonna have to reroute some of these branches if possible, which is gonna be a little awkward, but I think we can do it. All right, come on, little guy. You're gonna have to go, and then let's see. Oh, look at the vines! Oh, geez, those are so pretty. Will you go there? There we go. All right, that should be good. And then I guess we'll go ahead, turn, and I'll come through. Oh, dear, this this might take a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this might take a little while to go up around the side of the tree. Wow, look at all those mushrooms. You know what, guys? I wonder if actually climbing up the vines to collect mushrooms so that you can make delicious food might be the norm in this forest. That might be something that uh, you do to get really delicious gourmet mushroom soup. You might climb up the tree and pluck the mushrooms fresh off the branches of these beautiful jungle trees in order to make the best and most delicious mushroom soup ever. That definitely sounds intriguing. That might be something that we could do here as kind of like a, a fun little culture thing that we have go on in this forest. Let's put this here. Hmm, I should probably be using something else. Oh, maybe just like the actual oak wood pieces. That's a good idea. So what if I use like this oak wood piece as the balcony and then turn and then we can go up again. There we go. And then when you get stuck, we can come on over. Oh, there we go. And then put an oak wood piece right there. And then clear some of these leaves away because I can't see where I'm going. And I wonder how long it's gonna take me to get to the top. There we go. But I think that this view is gonna be worth it. Let's see, can I see something? Wow, look, already it's really beautiful. 
And like I keep saying, I think it's going to be amazing when we actually have a home here and we can look out and we can check. Oh, Lily, good job climbing the tree. Ash, you too. Ash, don't push your aunt off of the, the tree, please. Be, be a little bit more considerate of how many canines we have in the branches, please. I, I beg of you. I think Lily has feather like foot and so she wouldn't take too much damage from that. But still, it's it's not very polite, Ash. I'm going to I'm not going to give you your favorite dog treats if you keep that up. I'm telling you. But just think how amazing it's going to be to look out month after month whenever we do work here in the Asian forest area and we're just able to watch as the paths start spiraling out. I know, Ash. Are you hungry? Is that why you're here? <sighs> all right. All right. Next time I'm going to make you sit at the base of the tree if you start pushing everybody off though. You've been warned. But I think it's going to be amazing to see all of the paths spiral around. I mean, look at the change we've already had. I've I've faced my deepest fears and we are we are cutting down trees and clearing out the leaves and I don't think we're going to regret it. There's always the wild world that we can encourage after all. But all right, I'm going to continue putting down slowly but surely and faithfully all of these um all of these bits and pieces of our stairs in order to climb our way up and i guess i don't technically need anything under the stairs there we go since they can just cling to the side of the tree like this but i'm gonna keep putting them down till i get to the very top of the tree and then hopefully next time we can work a little bit more on actually building the the bulk of the tree house so we can make some good progress because the sooner we can get this done well look it's already spiraling around good girl lily all right there we go yeah the sooner we get this done then the sooner we're going to be able to start adding in the perfect spots for the roof caps all right let's see i'm gonna just cut this down there should still be enough of a healthy connection for that branch that it won't go anywhere and then we're going to clear out leaves i just don't trust leaves to be a very good a very good surface to stick around for stability. And we'll probably wanna build at least a few more spots. Okay, gotta be careful. Yeah, we'll probably wanna build at least a few more spots up around the tree that will serve as platforms so that we can have different observatory, po uh, observatory points. All right, let's cut these down. Wow, I'm not gonna need nearly as many stairs. The tree felt so much bigger than this, but I think that we're actually gonna be able to get up and down with a lot fewer stairs than I anticipated. All right, let's see. In fact, can I make it like really, oops, not if I put the stairs upside down. All right, there you go, Siri. There we go. And nothing is harassing my darling down there. Right? Okay, right, all right, good. All right, ooh, cool. And let's see, what about over here? Ooh, goodness. <laughs> Okay, remind me to put in the uh, leafy barricade that we're gonna wanna want. Ah, ah! Okay, um, I definitely need to put in, <laughs> I definitely need to put in some guardrails, Lily. But all right, guys, I'm gonna work on finishing up our little stairs. Let's see how it looks from down here already. Hmm, you know, the thing about making the stairs surrounded by leaves are that I can't really tell Oh, there's some of the stairs right there. So I think I fell down from about that point. I think we're almost there. One more layer and then we will be up to the top of the tree. I can't believe we're already transforming it into a treehouse that quickly. Oh, and look how cool it looks with the little stairway right here. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm going to love this. This is going to be really fun. All right, let me go ahead and just put some... Oh, Lily, careful. <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Why don't you just go ahead and sit there so that you're going to be nice and safe. There we go. There we go. There we are, all right. And then if I surround this whole thing with the oak leaves, I think I can keep myself out of trouble and keep myself from plunging to my doom without too much fuss and also hopefully provide a little bit more health for the tree itself. Yeah, this might be a good spot right here to come and put another platform for a little observation location. Let's see, yeah, definitely need to save myself from myself and my look how pretty and then walk off of the side of the tree um, issues by putting up lots and lots of leaves. There we go. But I think it'll work out well. Wonderful. All right. I'm going to, ooh, I'm going to block this off so that I don't fall. Don't mind me. <laughs> Ash. I, at least I didn't fall too terribly far. 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to continue working on uh, putting down my little barricade here so that hopefully I really will stop falling. There we go. And I can protect myself literally from myself. And then I'll get to the very top of the tree or at least maybe right under its top canopy. Uh, oh, wow, is that the moon right overhead? <gasps> you guys, how beautiful is that? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I think this is definitely a wonderful, wonderful new home. So I'm going to get to the very top of our little new home tree as carefully as I can. There we go. We'll figure it out and uh, then we'll start settling in and we'll start building some good little platforms to be able to look out on the jungle with from here. And then I will show you guys the fancy pantsy trick and the help that we have so that uh, we can get lots and lots of paths in between these treetops built as quickly as possible so that then we can start focusing on the ground and adding in exhibits and delicious shops and all sorts of lantern strewn beautiful night markets. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.